tell me about your connection to language. That's a, a really interesting question, and thank you for that. Um, I was actually just um, having a conversation on the way over here about language. It's something that's always uh, fascinated me since I was at school. Um, I wasn't... Um, it's really curious. When you're a child, you don't know why you're good at things. And I wasn't particularly, in fact, at all gifted at mathematics or the sciences. But as soon as we started learning languages, I, ha I found I had a f an affinity for it. I understood it. Started learning French um, or taking Latin or Spanish. I just understood how the setup was. And then as the English literature classes at school, you know, when I was a teenager, got more sophisticated, um, I, w I am fascinated by language as a way... I suppose it is our primary tool of externalizing the many complex feelings and thoughts we have as human beings. And so writers who are precise about language fascinate me. How, how can we as human beings make ourselves understood when we are so complex and our capacity to feel and think is so profound? And so you have writers like Shakespeare or Pinter who really understand that the only way you can try to connect to another human being is to be precise about language. And that's as much about what you say as about what you don't say. And the key thing with Pinter is what, is what characters actually decide to withhold or exclude. And you know anyone who's seen or is familiar with Pinter will be aware of the great Pinter pause or the Pinter silence. And those silences, how, how he holds the character's thoughts and feelings without language. And then the silence ends because somebody says something and they've chosen deliberately to say it. 